This is Carful Foy in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. My name is Julie. I work for Oxfam. I came here in March as part of the earthquake response. And here in Carful Foy, it was one of the neighborhoods hardest hit by the earthquake. Oxfam has done a huge amount of work in this neighborhood, particularly providing hundreds of thousands of people with clean drinking water, latrines, and public health education. We also have a large program to help small business owners restart their businesses. This is Joe Nice. She lives in Carful Foy. She lost everything in the quake. There are still about one million people living under plastic sheeting after the quake. They lost their jobs, their businesses, their homes. Everything is gone. This is a camp in Carful Foy. This is Antonio, the leader of the camp. About 80% of people lived in slums before the quake. Now in these tent cities, they're living under tarps that are not meant to stand up to hurricanes and the baking sun. At the same time, however, they often have better access to basic services like water and toilets than they did before the quake. This is what is so shocking here. Our country director, Roland, was interviewed for Haitian television. He was asked, what can one NGO like Oxfam do here? What is the solution? C'est pas en remplaçant six fois par an la bâche qu'on va rendre une solution. Il faut sortir les gens de ces bâches. Les rentrer ici et faire des constructions, des abris temporaires, je crois qu'on fera des bidonvilles qui existaient comme avant le tremblement de terre. The task now is to rebuild these communities. Sometimes this feels like an overwhelming task. Carfoufoy is covered in rubble, it has little basic infrastructure like water pipes and roads, and it is very overcrowded. One of the biggest problems is that we don't even know who owns the land. Haiti doesn't have a functioning titling system for property ownership. So how can you build a house for somebody when you can't even be sure that someone else won't show up and later claim that they own the land? We have to ask ourselves, okay, what can we do here? What we do know is that there are some very strong local civic organizations in Carful Foy. Oxfam has worked in Haiti for over 30 years, and we've had some of these partnerships for, for a very long time. In August, we held a workshop that brought together leaders of these civic organizations with municipal authorities like the mayor to draft a plan for rebuilding Carful Foy. One of the participants in the workshop, Rosanne, has been working tirelessly for change in Carful Foy. Malgré pays à l'état et l'état que lié là, moi crois que si il y a volonté politique, si il y a rigueur dans pays ça, on va même parler de 5 ans, moi je crois grand pile bagarre qui va changer dans pays ça. The real question is, who has a responsibility to do what to rebuild Carful Foy? Who is going to help Jonice? How are we going to resolve these difficult challenges that we face in Carful Foy and that Jonice faces every day? La résolution d'un problème de logement doit se faire par plusieurs acteurs. Et j'en vois de première vue trois. Les ONG avec, dans l'arrière, les bailleurs de fonds, le gouvernement, mais aussi les gens eux-mêmes. Que je crois que c'est trois parties prenantes majeures qui doivent trouver la solution ensemble. We have a long way to go in Carrefour Foy. It's been months and months since the quake, and we must move beyond emergency work and actually help to re-establish neighborhoods. That's what we're here for as Oxfam. We work with Haitians to find their own solutions for their own neighborhoods to rebuild their own communities. <laughs>